stream, making a product. I don't even think I updated the title, but that's okay. We'll do it later. Um, but my name is Zakia Ringo from Live Soap School, coming to you live from my dining room, also known as a soap studio, depending on what time of day it is. Um, but we will be showing you how to make a lotion today. So in the meantime, I do have a little video with Paige and I doing this the last time. <laughs> everybody can you hear me okay let me switch it that way can you all hear me let's see if the microphone got unmuted welcome 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 to the broadcast it has been quite a long time since we have made any kind of products in our soap studio and basisha you have a really long comment there's something about some kind of partnership but hello, I saw New Media on here, which is amazing. If you guys don't know, New Media TV is the one who created the Soap Live app for us. So let's give New Media a round of applause. Hold on, let's do that. Let's give New Media a round of applause. Beautiful spirit. Hello, Antonio. Very good to see you as well. Um, I'm hoping I can remember the steps and the order of operation. Um, so if you are new and you are just now coming on, welcome to the broadcast. My name is Zakia Ringgold. I happen to be the creator of Live Soap School, where I teach you how to make your own bath and body products with all natural ingredients. I also am the owner of Natural Soap by Zakia, where you can get those products if you choose not to make them as well as virtual experience design, where I help you to put on virtual events. Let's see, oh yes, good to see you too. So it's been a little bit of a moment. I don't know if COVID is kicking you guys' butt the way it seems to be kicking my butt. I have a lot going on, which makes it very difficult to live stream on a consistent basis. But the purpose of this broadcast is I can't have you guys going into the colder months all ashy. <laughs> we don't want you ashy with an H, guys, with an H. 
Um, so I was going to show you how to make your own lotion at home. We're going to do a very small batch. Hey, Ty, how are you? That's my brother right there. He's like number one supporter all the time. All right, so I am going to bring you guys over to the soap cam. Let me see something really quickly. Can you guys see that when I bring you to the soap cam? You can see it when I bring you to the soap cam. I'm going to go picture and picture. So then that way you can also see me in the bottom of the soap cam. So what we are going to be doing on this particular broadcast is walking you through how to make your very own and drop stuff <laughs> lotion at home. So I'm going to grab a pair of gloves. It's very important specifically with lotion or any kind of skincare products that you try and protect your um, your products from contamination. That can be microbes, bacteria, fungus. Nobody wants fungus. Um, and so we're going to make a lotion. Now I've seen a lot of videos that go around and it's making a lotion with water but there's missing one very 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 important ingredient and that happens to be preservatives. If you have any products where you are using water as one of the primary ingredients, that is where microbes will start to grow. Fungi will grow, so you must protect your product with a preservative. Okay? So I have a couple of things here on the table. Number one is my, my faux stove that's going to allow us to melt our oils and butters. So for our oils, I have already pre-measured out our shea butter. We also have some rosehip oil, some jojoba oil, and some lavender infused olive oil. So we want to melt all of these down. So I'm going to put those right into our faux double boiler here. And we're going to scrape the entire bowl because we did measure it specifically for the amount. But you can use any combination of oils and butters that you choose. I particularly love the shea butter because I got a chance to meet the women in Ghana who make it. Um, and so uh, I definitely try and use shea butter as much as I possibly can because I know the love that goes into making shea butter from scratch. So shout out to the ladies of Baraka Shea Butter for showing me that. So I'm going to let that melt down. Now for the liquid portion of our lotion, we are going to be using a combination of aloe vera juice as well as water. And I will put in the description below this video, depending on where you're watching it, what the exact measurements are. But it's about a 75% aloe vera juice to 25% water combination. Now aloe vera juice is extremely moisturizing to the skin, so that's why I use that instead of straight water. Typically for my lotions, I will use a rose hydrosol where I'll make my own rose water with hydrosol. So what I'm doing is I'm pouring that right in here. I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can see this here. So what I did was I poured it into our, um, I got this on Amazon, Amazon guys, um, because it'll actually warm the water up to the exact temperature we want. We want the water to get up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. This goes to about 175. And there's a method called heat and hold, where you heat the water and you let it hold at that temperature for 15 to 20 minutes. We're not doing that for the sake of time on this broadcast. We're going to get this up to 170 degrees. Our butters are just about melted, so I'm going to stir those in just a second. But in the meantime... What questions can I answer for you? That's kind of bubbling over a little bit. So I'm going to turn my, my heat down just to taste because it's like psh, 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 and all of that. This does get loud. And let's see. What do you got? Have I missed anything? Hi, Felicia. How are you? And now I can see. Bastia said, hello, I would like to speak with you regarding wholesale soaps and a business opportunity with your products. Please messenger me. We are friends. I will certainly do that. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. All right. So you guys don't have much questions. So I'm going to keep going as if, you know, you did have questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here 
Here comes Paige. She's trying to run over. You still got that tied on your head. She has a shirt tied on her head so she can have. Hi. Yes, Paige wants to say hi. Okay. Here's Paige, guys. I know you guys have not seen her in quite a while. How long have you been making natural products? Here's Paige. Um, hey, Kia, long time no see. I've been out. Me too. Me too. But I've been making natural products since 2015. I opened my 2015. store. 2015? Yeah, that was a year after you were born. A year after you were born. Um, so I started in 2015. I opened my online store in 2016. And I started teaching about it in 2018. And I started publishing books in 2018. We're up to four books on um, soap making. The first one, oh, I'm not going. if you want to know about the books, I'll tell you about those books. But this water has already heated up to the temperature, or it's a water aloe vera combination. So it's already heated up to the temperature that we need. Now, there are additional ingredients. Let's bring you back over here so I can share those with you. Let's take you back to the soap can. Well, today it's the lotion can. Let's go over there. All right, so the additional ingredients. We talked about our oils that we're using. Now, the oils that we were using were the shea butter. We're also using the infused olive oil, the rosehip oil, as well as the jojoba oil. Those are all of the ingredients that we want to go into your skin with the lotion. Now, to encourage or to help to make an emulsion, we also want to add in our... Somebody answered the question. Hello there. How are you? Um, we're also going to add in two ingredients. One of them is a steric acid, which is very difficult to see. Can't do anything about that, guys. I am so sorry. But it looks like... Here, I'll put it on there. So that's what steric acid looks like. And that helps to thicken the um, lotion. So I'm going to put that in here as well. And I'm also going to put in our emulsifying wax. That is what's going to allow us to have it emulsify with when we put the water in. You guys know what happens when you mix oil and water, correct? Of course we do, Zakia. What do we look like? Third grade? But it's a good science experiment for kids too, by the way. So I'm putting the, here's the emulsifying wax in there. Um, so I'm putting the emulsifying wax in. So I want all of this to melt together with the oils that we have put in. So we have our shea butter. We also have the rosehip oil, jojoba oil, and the lavender infused olive oil. To that, we put in our emulsifying wax. And then we also put in our steric acid so that all of that can melt together. Now we want this to get to a good temperature of about 160 degrees. And I'm sorry, I'm not on camera again. Let's see what happens. There we go. So we want this, all of our oils, our waxes, and everything to get to about 150 to 160 degrees. And the reason for that is when we go to mix the water with our oils, butters, and waxes, that's going to give us our best chance at a stable emulsion so that the so 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 it doesn't separate is what we are after. So and it doesn't take much time for that to melt. Hey, 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 Marlene, how are you? Yeah, I would, I would say long time no see, but that's my problem because I haven't been on here to see people. That's my fault. My bad. So when you are making your lotion, um, the, the best thing to do is, this is very similar when you are making your, um, your soap, your bath bombs, any products that you are making is to have everything that you are going to use laid out for you because otherwise you're you're going to stop midway through like oh no where's my emulsifying wax oh no where's the containers and I'm putting everything in if you lay them all out then that's one less thing that you have to remember along the way and it comes fast and furious so it's a good idea to have everything laid out and I should probably stop here and tell you everything because I kind of just went right into it. So we started with our aloe vera juice and water combination. So you want to have that. 
<laughs> you also want to have any of the oils and butter. You only need one oil, really, whatever oil that you want to use. I was trying to be fancy, and I said, let's use a little bit of shea butter. Let's use some jojoba oil, rosehip oil, and some infused olive oil. So we have that. But then we need our emulsifying wax so that we can actually combine, emulsify, bring together the oils and the water. So, so we have that. We have all of that melting. Then we also have the steric acid, which is going to help to thicken up our lotion so it's not so runny. The last two ingredients that I'm going to mention are the preservative, which is Liquid Germal Plus, which is very expensive. You only need a very small amount, but you must have it. You absolutely, positively must have it. If you don't want to buy a preservative, I would say stay away from making a lotion and stick to making a whipped butter because you're not adding any water. You don't need any preservative. But because this recipe is so heavy in water, aloe vera juice, um, microbes love to grow in these kind of environments. So you want to have a preservative to prevent that from happening. So we have our preservative and then we also have, so our preservative is in here. And then we also have our lavender essential oil. Now, here's the thing. I only have the lavender essential oil because I was trying to double up. I had the lavender infused olive oil, so it's infused into the oil that's going to be a part of the actual lotion recipe. And then I wanted to take it up a notch with the essential oil as well. So that's why we have the lavender essential oil that we're using. You can keep this 100% unscented. Sometimes you have people with really, really dry skin um, or very, very sensitive skin and they don't like scents. Take the scent out or replace it with the scent that you like. So that's all that's really required. Of course, the magic wand of any product maker being the stick blender. Um, if you have a stick blender, it's really wise to use this. This will help you to get a stable emulsion. If you don't, the second best thing that you can use as a product maker, you got your stick blender in one hand, the spatula in the other. If I had a third hand, it would be a whisk, but I don't have that. But if you want to use a whisk, you can do that too to emulsify your lotion. So the last thing is a thermometer. And the thermometer is important because the preservative, it loses its potency if you add it at too high of a temperature. So we need to wait for our lotion, once we mix it together, to come down to about 120 degrees, 110, 120 degrees before we add the preservative in there. Otherwise, it's just going to be like we just put it in there for no reason at all um, because it's not going to do anything. It's not going to be effective. So you want to have yourself a thermometer so that you can check your temperature. I know my water is at the right temperature because this is set. Sorry, turned it off. Darn it. This is set at 175 degrees, which is what we wanted. Then we have our oils that have completely melted over here. I'm going to let that sit there for another two minutes, just for good measure. Just for good measure. Um, and that will be how we are able to then combine them all inside of our original container, because it's the larger of the containers. And we'll blend them together, and then we will have ourselves a lotion. What questions can I answer? I can also go back to another video. I'm showing that we have 49 folks. I don't know where you all are watching from. I see V on there. I see Learner. You're watching over on the YouTube side. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I like your username. Um, happy Sunday. It is Super Soap Sunday, guys. I said if I was going to make some kind of video, it would be on a Sunday to bring back Super Soap Sunday. I will try and do these um, as consistently as possible. Like all of you, I have been trying to juggle this COVID, COVID situation. Um, Courageous Umi checking in from Dallas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lenitia, how is your soap making coming along? Um, Jazzy from Kissimmee, Florida. Welcome. I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Well, hello, gal wine stars very happy to have all of y'all there are some new ones coming jazzy were you the one who sent me an email my books yes i have several books 
there were two people who told me they have not gotten their order. Was that you, Jazzy? Periscope have glad you're doing well. Hi, Mary. How are you? Indiana. Very good to see you. So I'm going to pause while we're still waiting for all of our oils and butters to melt. If this is your first time seeing us live on any of the platforms, put in a number one. If you have been here before, you are hashtag Soap Nation through and through. Put in a number two so I can say welcome back and then I'll say welcome to the ones who put in a one. That'll be cool. Just found me today. New media. Hey, Zoe. How are you? Hey, I know Jules. Jazzy. Okay. All right. So I am the author of the new Soap Makers Cookbook series. This is a four, um, a four book series for people that are brand new to making soap. But before I do that, you all are answering my questions. So I better pause and say hello. So new media is telling that lie telling that lie that this is his first time um but welcome marlene hashtag soap nation lol mary has been here before sharice welcome good to see you i see all of the perry fam has showed up i didn't think anybody was still on the app um been watching for years now well welcome back sue hello 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 uh ralph yes okay so this this makes my heart smile. I was like, well, you ain't been there for a while. Maybe nobody's going to show up. But you all showed up, which is great. Um, let's see. Oh, look, my water. It, boy, my water runneth over. I'm going to I'm gonna turn that off now. It has melted. It has melted. Um, I'm your new viewer. Well, welcome, Gary. Okay, so if you are new... Let's catch you up with what we have going on. I am Zakia Ringel. My business was started from live streaming. I would come on live on Periscope in 2015 with this hobby that I had of making handmade soap. And I would share it. I would say, well, hmm, wonder what happens if I mix this with this and try a little bit of that. Well, over the course of several months, people that were watching started saying, well, hey, how can we buy that thing that you are making. So I launched my store. It's an online store in 2016 selling my handmade soap. And in that first week, we shipped a hundred orders. We started doing gratitude scopes where we would talk about 365 days of gratitude. What are we grateful for? Um, right now, I'm grateful for the internet because if we had no internet, this COVID-19 would really be an issue. I mean, it, it is an issue, right? Like, come on, that's a little, it's a little bit low. But if we had no internet, could you imagine how much worse it would be? So we would talk about gratitude. I would then volunteer at after school programs teaching soap making. And the people who were watching would say, hey, can you teach us how to make handmade soap? And I said, I shall can Let's start live soap school. And that is where my online school was born, where I started teaching how to make and sell your handmade soap from scratch. Um, from there, I self-published four books in the new Soap Makers Cookbook series. The first one is Ingredients for Success. That is the top 10 things, no matter what your craft is, that you need to know if you want to be successful. The second book in that series is How to Make Cold Processed Soap from Scratch. That is the traditional method using oil and lye and all of that. Um, and then the third book, because we make all plant-based products, was the Vegan Soap Cookbook. That one has over 20 recipes for making plant-based soap. And then my latest, and I want to say my greatest, my latest, my greatest inspiration. No, I'm just playing, but I'm serious. The latest book is the um, How to Make and Sell Soap. Answers to the top 50 questions that your favorite guru probably won't tell you. That's this one here. This one comes in an audio book as well. But this is the latest book here. This goes over 50 questions that after doing about 600 or 700 live streams making products, those questions kept coming up. 
my students who had learned how to make the soap but didn't know how to sell the soap. Answers to those are in here in both paperback if you want to read it and then audio if you want to hear it, right? Where do I buy it? So all of my books are available on livesoapschool.com as well as Amazon. I remember when it first hit us, you and daughter on your living room floor getting a pizza, I think. Do you have Instagram? All the above. Jazzy, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm also on my Soap Live app. There is an app called Soap Live. Now, my latest is that we are starting a virtual community for handcrafted artisans. Because in March, the um, COVID hit. I, I hate saying it like that, but that's what happened. COVID hit, and um, I put on a virtual conference. It was a virtual soap makers conference. We had 14 speakers from as far away as the Philippines, and we had attendees from all over. And because of that, I started producing virtual conferences for other organizations, nonprofits, membership organizations. But I've left out the soaping community. So I will be starting um, a monthly kind of a mastermind for all handcrafted artisans so we can figure out this homemade business thing. Um, I think I've figured out a lot of the things correctly, but I think there's a way for us to come together as a community and grow. So um, if you are interested in joining that, be sure to get on my mailing list at Live Soap School. And then we'll do some stuff there. So back to our regularly scheduled programming. I feel like that was a huge commercial in the middle. Um, but hopefully that helps anybody that's new who hasn't been here. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, but I got text messages coming up at the same time. You know, whatever. Okay, so... We have our water that is ready to go. We're going to combine the water and the oil in this container here. Now I'm going to get our stick blender ready. By unplugging everything and just plugging the stick blender in. Okay, so let's switch you guys over. Let's come here. Ooh, that smells nice. Okay, there we go. All right, so we now have a container. We're going to pour our water in that has come to the temperature of 170 degrees. You're going to see a little bit of steam coming up up there. Okay. Now, you really sh now we are doing this is not a technical way of doing it. You should really pay attention to how much water is in here so it goes along with the recipe. I'm just giving you guys an idea of the process here. So here is our melted oils and butters. We're going to pour that in. And you guys are going to watch emulsification happen right here on your screen. Ready? Wrote a song about it. Have you already made sea moss soap? I made sea moss soap in 2015. Now what we want is for the water and the oil to come together. And this will become nice and creamy. Look how pretty that is. And it's no longer separating the water and the oil. They're coming together and combining nicely. And as Paige would say, that's very sad, so satisfying. Hello, Angel. Good to see you. Ooh, all right. <laughs> So that is as emulsed as it's going to get. So I don't, if, 
if I were to just keep doing that, it would just be for show. There's nothing additional I need to do with that. So we are going to see just a few of the air bubbles come on the top, and that has to do with how long I was um, stirring it up. We're going to wait for this temperature to come down to about 120 degrees for two reasons. To add our essential oil in as well as adding in our preservative. So I have to grab a thermometer, which I thought was right here. I broke my own rule, guys. But what we are after is a lotion. Kia, what is the name of that pot that holds the water temperature? What would I look up? Ugh, good question. It's a Kendon electric kettle. Glass electric brewing system. Very good question. Kendon. And it doesn't let me put it in there. But that held, it's, but I can, here, I'll bring it over. Ugh, my face is in the way. But that holds the temperature and you can put the various um, settings that you want. Did you know that there is a different setting depending on what it is that you're making? If you're making coffee, the ideal temperature is 195 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're making just regular tea, the ideal temperature is 175. Also, the ideal temperature for making lotion for the heat and hold phase. Then for green tea, it's a little bit different. 15 degrees lower at 160. And then if you want it warm milk, I don't like warm milk. I don't know who came up with the idea of warm milk. But the proper temperature for that, for it to not curdle over, is 104 degrees. So this allows you to heat and hold your water or your ingredients. The only thing is, now that I have put aloe vera, let's bring it over here. Now that I've put aloe vera in here, I have to clean this kettle very well before our next tea situation. I love that, right, Mary? Um, yeah, it's a very cool little, it's ingenious. The first time here, I'll bring this up here. So we're waiting for our temperature to come down there, but I can talk to you while we're doing that. The first time when I went, to, the first time, the only time I went to China, these were in every hotel room because most people when they're in, in China, they make their own tea in their room. And it was a safe way for you to have your water boiling. It's an electric, so it's an electric kettle. So when we were there, every hotel room had these and I said, I got to get it. So while I was there, I ordered online and then um i went to a soap makers gathering in new Jer new york this was the one in new york when i went to the gathering in new york um cindy from candles and supplies she was doing a demo on lotion making and she pulled out her kettle i said oh my gosh i've had that since china i never thought to use it for heating and holding long story short we now have this and but it depends if I'm making a really big batch of lotion, this won't do it. This one that we made today was just 24 ounces because I wanted to be able to fill up one of these and one of these. This one, so you all can see the consistency, and this one, so we can keep it upstairs in my bedroom because I was out of lotion. And I don't have many containers. It is one thing that COVID has done is it is making it almost impossible to get the containers that we typically use for packaging. Um, especially for hand sanitizer containers. You could forget about it. Um, it just takes a, a lot of stuff, not importing, exporting, and all of that. So as the temperature for this comes down, you want to keep an eye on it. Um, it's going to thicken as the temperature decreases. So as the temperature goes down, you're going to notice that your lotion gets thicker. I did a really thin one before. So eventually, um, probably in about 25 minutes, we will have a consistency. Now, this one is my lighter summer lotion. Do you see how thin and easy that goes on? Right there. I had, Now, the one that we're making today is thicker because I used less water. So that's pretty much the secret ingredient for making a thicker lotion or a thinner lotion if you want it thicker, you're going to decrease the amount of water um, content that you put in there. But you can't decrease it too much because if it's too thick, it won't come out in a pump jar the way that you need it to. So that's what we have going on. We are up to 
says 67 folks if you have not said hello and if you are watching from a share and you are typing and I'm not responding it's because I can't see you so come on over to the Facebook live soap school page or on YouTube or on Periscope so that I can properly say hello Drea has made it very good to see you Drea um, uh, I am so excited to be back it's kind of energizing there's the same cake that we made. That was the last time we made soap was when we made that cake. Um, so we have that. Can I come over now? Yeah, you can come over now. Hello from Chicago. Very good to see you, Bertram. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please be careful. <laughs> well, I was trying to prevent you from coming over. And what's your point? I'm small. I oh, dear God. Let me see. I feel like I missed something. You can't walk over here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Hey from Oregon. Hello there. Sorry, guys. I got messages on here at the same time. <laughs> Paige has her. Can you tell them the story of your pink hair? Uh, I've got pink hair but my pink shirt, so I just like backwards. It's just the wig. <laughs> It's just a wig. It's actually an old navy shirt because I can see the thing on there. Um, FOCM, hello, hello, hello. So I, I'm, I'm trying to actually stall because I don't have. <laughs> I can't find, like, I, I normally can eyeball where my thermometer is. Paige. It's right there. Oh, my God. It fell <laughs> and it broke. Darn it. All right. Thank you, Paige. You are amazing. And we're at 125 degrees. Look at that. Hey, Paige, honey. Drea saying hi. Hi. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch you guys over so that we can add in our essential oil. I would like to do that. You wish? Yeah. Here, go ahead and pour. Where? In here. Very good. I've been making oaks. I've been making soap since I was one. Yes, but this is lotion, my dear. But yes, you have. That is lotion very true. Lotion my skin. Yes. Yay! It's my lotion. Now we could use. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. That's okay because this is still warm. We could use our essential or our stick blender, um, just to make sure that that is completely blended in, which is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, and that'll also help the temperature to drop a little bit more. Because as you can see, it's separating. Cool. And we want it completely blended together. Wave. Ride that wave. Hey, Pamela. Today we are making lotion. And Jazzy says she loves your wig. Thank you. That lavender smells nice. No? All right, let's see what our temperature is now. Now, how did temperature go up? It says 129. All right, and just because I don't want to be here all day, I am going to go ahead and add in our preservative. Yo, it and it doesn't take a lot of preservative, guys. Mommy. I am smiling from ear to ear. I am so happy to see you beautiful. Thank you. Well, we are very happy to be on here. Right, Paige? Kind of, sort of, a little bit. No, I'm not. not a <laughs> Never mind, then. Well, I'm happy to see you, too, Drea. All right. I'm happy that you've been on two hours. It has not been. I can tell you. This ah, mommy! Too much. Don't do it that way. Sorry. Why do you scream? Can you go get me paper towels, please? Oh, now you're using paper towels. Oh, gosh. If you're going to get it, just get it. Let me see. Um, thank you, Drea. We are happy to be here. And then Portia is saying hello there over on the YouTube side. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we spilled... Well, not we. Mommy. Mommy did. 
Hmm, let me see. Thank you, thank you. And another thing you might want to have next to you while you're making products is paper towels. You never know. You just never, never know. We can kind of test it, too. I wouldn't do that. It's hot. Yeah. Is it? It still has to thicken. No, it's not hot. You can test it. Go ahead and touch. Why should you be What kind it? is your... It is also good for soap. Hey, beautiful. Hey, John. Oh, long shit. time no see. Mom, why should you be testing it? I'm the one with the dirt. I'm the one with oh, the skin. Oh, Lord, girl. We all have skin. Okay. Yeah, but you don't but have... But you want to mess up my thing. Remember, YouTube and kids, they don't let it stay. With the comments. But you good. All right, listen. Um... What kind, that's like three different questions at the same time. Let me see. So what kind of preservative? We use Liquid Germal Plus. Yeah. John, very good to see you. What is your stick blender and can it be used for soap? Absolutely. This one is a craftsman or a chefman. And I don't know if you can see the front. It's just a chefman there. Um, I always, I have about way too many i'm not going to give a number but i have way too many stick blenders let me get this you out don't, you don't have that many there's okay i don't have that many according to page oh um, now i see you have plenty but i do use them for all of my product making i also have a commercial size stick blender which is huge but that re for me it requires two people to work that one i'll show you that one we used it one time since I got it, and that was to make um, an activated charcoal batch as well as a triple butter blend. Okay. Let me come on here. So, um, at this point, it's just waiting for the temperature to come down just enough so that we can pour it into these here. I could actually pour in here, which I'll do now because it will continue to get thicker. And what I'll do is if you're not connected on um, Facebook, on the Live Soap School page, once this is at the complete consistency, what I'll do is I'll post a picture so you can see how thick it gets along with the recipe. The recipe will be in the Soap Live app. Um, as well as the Live Soap School blog. So if you want to try and make this at home, definitely follow that recipe. It's pretty straightforward. And as you can see, you have your water phase where you are, um, where you are uh, doing all of your water ingredients. So we did a combination of aloe vera juice and water, 75% aloe vera juice to 25% water. Then we put all of our oils and... Um, butters as well as our waxes in here to melt together so we have our oil phase which we um, oil phase is which we we melt it down the shea butter the infused olive oil rosehip oil and jojoba oil then we add it to that our emulsifying wax so that it would emulsify with the water and then the stearic acid to help to um, thicken the lotion up then once both of those had been at about 170, the water was at about 150 degrees, eyeballing it, we combined both of those together and blended it well. Once we blended it well, we allowed that temperature to come down to about 125 degrees so that we could add in our preservative. If you are using and making a lotion at home, hold on Paige. if you are making a lotion at home that contains water, you must absolutely positively use a preservative. Um, someone asked which one did I use. We use Liquid Germal Plus. And then we also added an essential oil for scent. You do not have to add an essential oil if you don't care about the scent. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer the lotion into this container. It's going to look very, very runny. It's going to be very, very runny until the temperature comes down. As the temperature comes down, it will thicken, but it'll be harder to transfer it into a container. So we want to do that now. 
Now, it would probably be best if I had a um, funnel, but I don't feel like looking for it. So we're well, gonna... I know where one is. I got it to work, Paige. Now, we can also do a conditioner in here. This is actually a conditioner bottle. I don't want to spill it on my hand. It is warm, though. Now, you could allow the temperature to come down just a little bit more. And you want to leave space in the container because as the temperature drops, it will thicken. It will get much, much thicker. She's finding me a funnel. Um, what about the steric acid? So the steric, I didn't mention the steric acid. The steric acid is what's used to help thicken the lotion. So we put that in the same time that we put in our emulsifying wax into the oils. So anything that's not a water, aside from the essential oil and the preservative, gets melted all together with your oils and butters and emulsifying wax correct you put the steric acid the emulsifying wax any butters that you're using for your lotions any liquid oils that you're using for your lotions you're going to put those all into your I guess I put it into the double boiler to melt down together and bring it to the temperature yeah but I need something pass me that bowl the clear bowl yeah, because I need something to put this in so that it doesn't fall over. And then we'll do the other one. And roll. We'll... No, I don't need that. Does that answer your question? How old is she now, Zakia? Six. Yep. She's six. Um, I am not sure. Tara, now, that's a good question, Tara. I'm not sure if steric acid expires. But Tara is getting to a very good point in terms of the ingredients and how the shelf life of your lotion. Your lotion is going to have the shelf life of the shelf life, I know that sounds weird, of your shortest ingredient. So depending on the ingredients that you use in your recipe, um, like if you use like a grapeseed oil, everybody loves grapeseed oil, but grapeseed oil has a six month shelf life. So if you were to try and put grapeseed oil in your lotion, you would have to add another ingredient in there. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm trying to eyeball, but sometimes. Mommy, I'm mixing it. Mix it up. Oh, darn it. That's going to overflow. Well, dump some out. Oh, so, so obvious. Yeah, I'm going to dump some. Exactly. Yeah, you're very smart. Okay, so we now have our two containers. Now notice, I am not putting the tops directly on these containers. Or else they Why? will get fixed or because they need to be thicker. They need to be thicker. However, if we were to put the tops on, I've done this and I ruined a whole batch of lotion, 120 ounces of it. Um, what happens is condensation. So water is going to appear in there, and then you have water droplets sitting on the top of your lotion. And that is going to be a cause for bacteria. So you don't want to do that. Good afternoon. Is it vegan? No. If you wanted this to be a 100% vegan um, recipe, you would replace the um, emulsifying wax with, or you could, no, couldn't keep the emulsifying wax. With this, it's called a candida wax. Candida? I can't, but that's not really an emulsifier, so that wouldn't work. Beeswax wouldn't work. You're gonna have. I'm gonna have to think about a way to make this a completely vegan recipe. I'm not sure right now. I would have to look. I would have to look for a substitute for the waxes, um, and the preservative. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, Z, haven't seen you in a while. I know, but I love your hair color, Allie. I've been keeping up with you on Facebook. Hey, Ann, how are you? That's why I never use any of those six-month oils in my products until they move super fast with being purchased. Yep, that, that's a huge candelia wax. I could not pronounce that to save my life. 
Um, so if you would like to replace, if you were using beeswax in your recipe, you could use candelia wax. That would also help to thicken it. So you could replace your stearic acid with the candelia wax. Mommy, is that good enough? Yeah. Thanks, love. You're welcome. All right, so I am going to let you all go. This has been a phenomenal return back for Super Soap Sunday. I am really happy to be live streaming again. Um, life just got really, really busy um, trying to juggle it all. I know I am preaching to the choir. All of us have had to make some kind of adjustment to whatever our normal was. Um, make sure you hit that like button in the face. <laughs> and make sure you hit that like button in the face. And click the bell and with click, notifications. Click the bell to get those and notifications. Give us a huge thumbs up. And a huge thumbs up so that the algorithms will know, hey, people kind of sort of like this a little bit. And try to see if you can get 10,000 likes. Paige, that's a whole lot of call to action. We're just going to leave it at that for now. Um, thank you, Sue, for being here. You stay safe as well. Angel as well. And I have to give Bye. a special shout out to my YouTube folks. Over this pandemic, we have grown by 2,500 new subscribers on YouTube. So if you are brand new, thank you for joining the Soap Nation tribe over there. If you're on the other platforms and you're not connected with me on YouTube, make sure that you do. I am Zakia Ringo there. And for everyone, be well, be Bye. kind, stay safe, and wash your, your hand. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.